kindly subscribe to our youtube channel to watch the full lecture hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we'll be preparing a statement of comparative work cost now the question is on the screen kindly take the screenshot of the question or at least write down the question and then watch the video from the data given below calculate the comparative work cost for a job in factory a and b there are two factory now method of payment of wages factory a is using halsey plan and factory b is using rowan plan next standard time for the job for factory a 250 hours is a standard time and for factory b it is 240 hours actual time taken by a worker to complete a job for factory a it is 200 hours for factory b it is 210 hours is a time taken hourly rate of wages so for factory a they have told the hourly rate that is rate per hour it is 2.50 and for factory b it is 3.00 means 3 rupees material cost for the job so the whatever the materials they have used the cost of that materials in factory a it is 1000 and factory B it is 900 now factory overhead so factory overhead is calculated on 150 percent of wages in factory A and 133.33 percentage of wages in factory B now let us see how to prepare the comparative work cost now see here first let us calculate factory A in factory A First, let us see how to do this on basis of Halse plan only because they have told that factory A is following Halse plan. Factory A Halse plan na follow we will solve using that. So, what is the formula for Halse plan? The Halse plan formula is time taken into rate per hour into rate per hour plus 50% of time saved into rate. Now, how much is the time taken at factory A? Factory A have taken 200 hours into rate per hour. It is 2.50 plus 50% of time saved is how much actually standard time see here standard time is 250 hours time taken is 200 hours so if you minus you will get 50 hours so 50 hours is the time saved into rate is 2.50 now 200 into 2.50 it is 500 plus 50% of 50 into 2.50 this 50% of 125 so it will be 500 plus 50% of 125 it will be 62.5 so total it will be 562.5 so this is the wages which we have given under for factory A under Halsey plan. Now let us see for factory B. Factory B is following Rowan plan. So what Rowan plan says? The formula is time taken, time taken into rate plus time saved divided by standard time into time taken into rate please look into the question the time taken in factory b is 210 hours into rate is 3 rupees plus time saved how we will calculate now look here in factory b standard time is how much it is 240 hours the time taken is 210 hours means they have saved 30 hours so time saved is 
30 hours divided by standard time is 240 hours into time taken. So what is the time taken? Time taken is 210 hours into rate is 3 rupees. So now 210 into 3. It is 630 plus 30 divided by 240. It will be 0 0.125 into 210 into 3 is 630. Now 630 plus 78. So 7, 5. Now when you add these two, you will get 708.75. So this is the amount paid in factory B for the worker. Now we need to prepare a comparative worksheet. So this is factory A. And here it is factory B. On top you need to write that calculation of comparative comparative work cost so now here particulars first is always what we'll take we'll take material cost in question they have given that for factory a it is thousand rupees and for factory b it is 900 rupees then direct wages direct wages we just found out what is the direct wages for factory a it is 562.5 rupees and for factory b it is 708.75 rupees so for factory a it is 562.5 rupees and factory b it is 708.75 add these two so when you add here you will get 1562 0.5 and here you will get 1608.75 what is this this is our prime cost it is our prime cost now for that we need to add factory overhead first for factory a they have told that it is 150 percent on wages so 150 percent on wages means 150 percentage on 562.50 so on 562.50 you need to add 150 percentage that time you will get 843.75 next for factory b for factory b you need to do 133.33 percentage on wages wages is how much 1608.75 5 so 1608.75 into 133.33 percentage how much you will get you will get uh, sorry they have told it on wages here wages is how much 708.75 wages is 708.75 so 708.75 into 133.33 percentage if you do will get 945 rupees now add these two and these two here you will get 2406.25 then here you will get 2553.75 this is our work cost hope you have understood this sum very well please practice this sum by yourself if you get any doubt Please put your queries in our comment box. Thank you. If you have any queries regarding today's session, kindly send your queries to education.mbbroadcast at gmail.com.